All right, check it out. This is a quick guide on how to set your MacBook Pro up to work with the CDJ 400s and Virtual DJ. So first, you want to plug in your CDJ 400s into your USB ports. Done. From that point on, what we're going to do is we're going to set your MacBook to um, recognize two sound cards instead of one. So what I just did is I went over to my docking and I found uh, the launch pad. Launchpad shows all the apps you should have on your laptop. So pretty much you just want to scroll over until you find Audio MIDI Setup. You click on that. Now as you can see here, I already have a sound card created. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that because I just updated my laptop to the newest operating system Mac has. And that kind of messes with a lot of the different settings you've had previously before. And so you want to remove the sound card and create a new one. Now, once you create a new one, you want to, of course, name it uh, CDJ400 so you know what it is, so on and whatnot. Hit enter. Now, over here, if you have your CDJs plugged in, it'll show up here like it does on mine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them both. So this sound card that I created will know to use either one of these as a second sound card. Once I've done that, you can go ahead and exit out of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Virtual DJ. Now before I do that, some of you may have a older version of Virtual DJ um, and you're probably having problems with your iTunes music not playing on Virtual. Well, if you updated your operating system to Maverick or whatever the newest one is, Yosemite, um, iTunes also updated and it's some for some reason Virtual DJ um, could not read any of the music. Virtual DJ has created a update which is Virtual DJ Pro Full and we can give you that update. So all you have to do is open Virtual DJ. Hopefully it doesn't take forever to open up. Which it does. As you can see, I have Virtual DJ 4.2 Pro for Max. Now, once now that it's open, I'm going to go over to Configs, and I'm going to set it up to work with 400s. Now, as you can see, mine is already set up. So ideally, this is what you want yours to look like when you've um, done all the steps correctly. Um, you want to make sure your input is set to none, your output is set to external mixer, and you want to make sure your sound cards are set to two sound cards. And you pretty much just want to select the Pioneer and the one we created. Click Apply. Now, once you do that, when you look at your CDJ 400s, you should see that it should show a 1 on your left side and a 2 on your right side. If those numbers happen to be reversed, all you have to do is hit the Eject button on the uh, CDJ, and it will swap them and put them correctly. Now, some of you may have an issue where it's showing a one and one on each player or two and two on each player. All you have to do is go over to Back to Configs, go to Mappers, and you want to click on this box here, and it'll bring in deck assignments. And it, as you can see, it shows the two 400s that you have plugged in. And all you have to do is just assign each one to something different. So this one is set to deck two, fine. This one is set to deck one, that's fine. And once you do that, you just hit OK and head over to your iTunes and you can just pick some random music and it's just, as you can see mine's showing error now that's what will happen if you haven't updated your virtual DJ um, I was just using it as an example mine's actually works just fine go over here put in the song go over here put in the song my computer's running a little slow because there's I didn't plug it into power. <laughs> so anyway, once you do that, you should be able to hit play on your CDJ400 on the left side, and it'll start playing. And it shows that my sound is coming out through the channel 1. Um, and same thing with this uh, right side. You hit play, and the sound should be coming out through the channel 2. Now, if you're having issues where everything looks correct, but sound is still switched. So sound from the left side is playing through channel one and sound from the, um, I'm sorry, sound from the right side is playing through channel one and sound from the left side is playing through channel two. All you have to do 
is head over to your configs one more time and switch these. Turn this one to this and this one to this. Click apply. And now your sound should be coming through channel one and channel two, like it should. And that's pretty much how you would do a uh, setup for your virtual DJ to work with the CDJ400s. And that is.